Hello and welcome back to another KCC video, I'm Rob and today we'll be jumping into Pro Revenge. Before we start please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when the next video goes live. Our story today comes to us on recommendation from a viewer named Alan and is written by SWBuilder12. Revenge on a University Teacher. Let's jump right in. I graduated university a few years ago and this story comes from my first year from my degree. I was in a business degree course having enjoyed studies of business in school and enjoying researching business related topics in my own time. Before I go further I should disclaim I am autistic. This will be important later. It also explains why what I consider an interest in business for me may be considered an obsession by others. I am considered high functioning Whilst I occasionally struggle in social situations, it mainly comes off as me being rather blunt. So for the degree we had several classes, every class makes up a portion of the overall grade etc. In the first year we had no choice in regards to classes. The majority of the classes were really fun and engaging. My teachers were very supportive to me and my classmates were too. I felt I belonged at university, whereas I hated school with a passion. At university I could study and argue points beyond a linear construct of a syllabus. Basically I'm trying to say so long as you could prove your argument with academic credibility you could make it and that debates were fruitful. I also had good relationships with my support worker who is there to aid disabled students and my personal teacher, someone every student is assigned who is head of a specific degree or discipline. One class however was horrid. On the first day of class the teacher, who we will refer to as Mrs. B, came into the class and we all had out our laptops or notebooks. She began scrawling what I could only describe as hieroglyphs on a whiteboard. It looked like algebra, only worse. I have never been good at mathematics. Breaking the age old autistic equals good at math stereotype, I was just typing notes blindly trying to write everything down but it made no sense to me. At the end of the class I introduced myself and explained I had a learning disability and that I might need some help going forward. She seemed dismissive saying, it's okay this stuff is easy, you would have learned in high school and then abruptly left. A few weeks passed and I was taking down all the notes and still not understanding it. I logged on to the student portal website, it was there all our content was hosted assignment briefs, reading lists, points of contact, etc. I was confused to find her class was the only one with nothing in the reading list. Every other class had several textbooks, journals, and other sources students could go to for extra information or clarification. After a class one day I went to Mrs. B and asked if there was any reading material, textbooks I could read, so I could try to understand said theory as there was nothing on the student portal website. She said in a very confident manner, as I said to you before, this is high school level stuff. Anyone would be able to do this simple work. I explained I struggled at math in school and that as an older and mature student, my school days were almost a decade ago. She shrugged and left the classroom and I was feeling very frustrated. In any other classes if I didn't understand something from a lecture I could look it up in the textbooks, online, etc to get a different perspective. If I still didn't quite understand I could go to a teacher and ask. They were happy to help me as they could see I had attempted to understand said theory. During one of the classes I raised a hand and asked a question about a value of a letter X as I didn't understand a certain equation. Mrs. B looked at me smirking saying it was simple and asked if anyone else in the class was confused. No one else raised a hand or spoke so she continued. At the end of the class I went to lots of classmates asking for their help. They confided in me that they also didn't understand that class but were afraid to speak out. This carried on for a month or so with me asking for help, writing the notes blindly etc. until we were given our first official assignment. What I did work wise I was not proud of, however in my defense with not understanding the content I was just trying to cobble something together. I would email Mrs. B asking to clarify bits, ask for help, my emails would be read, read receipt, but not replied to. I asked her about office hours to which she replied I don't do that. For context office hours are times where teachers allow students to come to them with anything, academic problems, 
questions, career options, etc. All teachers offered them, just not her. I tried to hand in the work online. Our university has a policy all work must be submitted online for cheat detection software and many other reasons. Mrs. B told us she would only accept paper versions and that the online portal was not to be used. When myself and other students questioned her, she needed to see the work and its true potential and left it at that. So we complied, printed, and handed in to Mrs. B on time. A few weeks later in class, she calls out students to collect their assignment papers with grades. The thing is, she reads them out not by name, but by grade order. We were all shocked. It meant the sooner your name was called out, the higher your grade, and the longer you waited, the lower your grade would be. I waited and waited until I was called forward. I was very anxious and went back to my seat. I turned out of the class and read over the paper. I had just scored a passing mark, but I was pissed off. Mrs. B had written comments such as, shows no understanding of the content, no efforts made, poor aptitude of the relevant theories. At this point, I was shaking with anger. I marched out of the class. She asked, where are you going? I didn't say anything. I didn't stop. I knew if I did, I would have gotten angry. I immediately went to see my personal teacher and support worker. It took them a long time to calm me down and said they would look into matters. After that, I went to speak to classmates who were read out before me, asking if they could explain the theory. All of them explained they had no idea how they even passed, let alone get a high grade. Keep a side note of this. A week later, Mrs. B comes into class looking agitated, proclaiming a reading list of a single textbook was available on Student Portal, much to the relief of the other students. She also exclaimed she would now offer office hours for students with the same level of enthusiasm as someone would have for watching paint dry. Unfortunately, the book was not in our university library, and we would have to buy it ourselves, which all students know, textbooks new are very pricey. I bought the book, but it made little difference with my lack of understanding. I spoke to classmates who did the same. They too didn't understand it. It felt like the book and the class were completely different. The office hours were another thing. I asked when I could see her. She informed me her next available spot was in three months' time. I asked a classmate to ask her. She told him she could see him that afternoon. Another classmate was told it was a four-month wait. Something was amiss. She also exclaimed some students were struggling with basic high school math and she would put some basic math on Student Portal website. The problem was, she photocopied them from a book. The pictures were blurry, so even if they did have useful content, they were illegible. Shortly after this, we had an exam on the subject. Again, I was worried. I had no idea what to expect. I was in a different exam room to the other students, as I get support in exam conditions, as I struggle with some aspects of reading. I am also mildly dyslexic. So get a reader support worker. Partway through the test, Mrs. B comes in and asks if I am okay. I was a bit shocked. I never had teachers in an exam before, but maybe this is how they do tests at university. I stated honestly I understood nothing despite buying the textbook, despite coming to see her, despite seeing my support worker, and despite consulting with my classmates. Mrs. B then proceeds to tell me the answers. Stunned, I say, what? She orders me to write. I look over to the support worker whose jaw has dropped. Mrs. B leaves and the support worker stops me and says, I have to report this. I acknowledge and the test is stopped. Afterwards, I speak to other students. Other students with special needs she came and told the answers to, but not to other students. I was very concerned and confused and unsure what this meant for my grade. Months passed again of the same old. I would furiously take down notes blindly, my classmates and I in a state of disrepair. However, one day I asked another question in class and Mrs. B, in a very snarky tone, said something along the lines of, You're the only student who doesn't get this simple equation. She looks out to the rest of the class stating, Everyone else gets it. Slowly, one other student says, I don't, then another, and another. I was reminded of the famous I am Spartacus bit. She looked mad as 28 students of a 30-student class raised their hands and objected, saying they didn't get it. 
Mrs. B, looking pissed, stopped the lecture, stating we couldn't behave, so she wouldn't teach, and left. A few weeks later, Mrs. B gave us what would be our final assignment for the class. She explained we had to write a report on a choice of reports as to how they use whatever algebraic theory we were meant to understand, and we had to do this in groups. In the assignment brief, we were meant to write the report on the report, but we weren't allowed to cite the original report. We asked Mrs. B for clarification. She explained it was academically lazy to cite any of the reports directly, and that instead, we had to find the original citation from the report and cite that, making it a lot more work. We spent the next week just panicking. The reports were so confusing, there was no easy one to choose from. All of this bubbled up. In all my other classes, I was achieving high grades, like 80%, 90% average. Despite this, this class so far, I was barely passing at 40%. The whole thing led to a very bad mental health crisis. I won't get dark here. It led to intervention from local government mental health services. After this, myself and classmates arranged a meeting with high-ups at the school to discuss our issues. Up until now, we had done all informal process of talking to the tutor, reading the textbook, and this new assignment was very, very hard. At this meeting, they asked why we wanted to see them. We explained it was about the class as a whole and the second assignment. They looked confused, citing there was no second assignment. We gave them the brief. These higher academics, professors, etc. eyes widened. They told us there was to be one assignment and one exam. They asked to see the reports we were to analyze. One of the professors' mouths dropped. The suspense and silence was palpable. They explained to us the reports we were to analyze would be set for master's degree or PhD students and that first-year undergraduates were not expected to meet this level of work. They told us to cease the work immediately. They told us to put together a formal complaint and showed us the paperwork, single A4 sheet to submit. Moments after leaving the meeting, an email went out to the whole year group from one of these professors, citing work on that assignment was to stop immediately. Mrs. B replied all, stating students could still do it for extra credit. The professor replied to all students, stating that was false, and that she needed to meet him immediately. To any other student, they must have thought, what the hell was going on? To me, though, I was just singing internally, but I was not done. The complaint I went to homework on. I filled in all my academic notes, all the emails I ever sent her in this report. I went to classmates for witness testimonials for what she did in class. I approached and got a statement from my exam support worker and a copy of some classmates' exams who got high grades. Reading the tests, I noticed we had similar answers to my work and that of other students. The grading was sporadic and random to be polite. For example, one of the answers to a question was 4x. I wrote 4x and got 1 point. My classmate wrote 4x and they scored 3 points. I then discovered something very interesting. When searching her name online, I found she was being paid by our university to do research into methods of using mathematics to make relative decision processes in a business environment. I decided to look into some of the aspects of that particular research grant and noticed they were very, very similar to the work she had assigned us in our unapproved assignment too. With this, I added this into my complaint report and decided to copy into my report the contact details of the funding bodies included, mainly European Union grant sources due to my country, which included what repercussions would come about if funds were used improperly. Over a week, I collated my masterpiece. What should have been at most a three-page report was now a fully bound 120-page complaint report with an appendix, contents, etc in full academic report style. I had some friends in a law degree go over it and advised me to seek compensation of some sort due to my mental health crisis as a result of Mrs. B. So I enclosed my request for some gesture of goodwill to be made by the university. I was not specific as although I was high on the adrenaline of getting back at Mrs. B, I was still battling with newly diagnosed depression, thanks Mrs. B. I submitted it, having it bound specially for the occasion. Two weeks later, all classes with her were cancelled, not just for our classes, but university-wide. 
it turned out she broke a lot of academic rules. Mrs. B had forged exam results, bullied an international student, or as I thought was being racist, and many other things. It was revealed she was using students to aid her in research she was being paid to conduct, which was the nail in her coffin. In other words, she was being paid to do research and passing said work on to her students without disclosure, consent, compensation, as she was being paid to do it, etc. It was a massive no-no in not only our student body, but other teachers as well. She was dismissed and fired with all professional accreditation lost, in other words, no way of coming back to the field of teaching or academia. All students got an automatic pass and a portion of our student loans repaid as compensation. We lost many battles, but we won the war. I still battle with the depression to this day, but I graduated with first class honors, so I guess I wasn't that stupid after all. I am fine now, happily in a great job, with a great wife and kids. If you got one thing out of OP's story, I hope it's that you learn that you can go and speak to somebody. And if you're having problems or if there's something going on that you just don't think is right, report it because it probably is wrong and other people just aren't willing to talk about it. Thank you to OP for posting their story in the Pro Revenge subreddit and thank you to Alan for sending me the email recommending this story. You can visit OP at the links in the description below. Please go check them out. Check out one of these other videos, and if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button for more daily Reddit stories.